Welcome back to Technical Skills Learning. In this video, I'm going to discuss about how uh, a browser works. Each time uh, when we navigate uh, to a defined web page uh, on our browser, we always wonder how does this web browser engine works and manages to display such colorful rich contents. A web browser displays the web sources by uh, requesting it uh, from the server. A web resource is not necessarily HTML. It uh, can also be a PDF, image, or more. The web browser interprets and displays HTML files is uh, specified in the HTML and CSS specifications. These specifications are maintained by the WWW organization, which is the standard organization for the web. We might have uh, noticed that all of the browsers have following things in common in their user interfaces. First is uh, address bar for inserting the URL, back and forward buttons, bookmarking options, a refresh and stop buttons for refreshing and stopping the loading of current documents. Fourth is a home button that uh, gets you to your home page. Whenever we do some Google search, is there any formal specification about the components that a web browser should provide? Strangely, uh, there is uh, no such formal specification. We found this strange uh, because uh, despite of the fact that there was no such formal specification, yet all the browsers that I have used till uh, this date have common components in their user interfaces. Once you enter the URL uh, into your address line, the browser breaks the uh, web address uh, down into three distinct parts. First is a protocol that is HTTP. Second is uh, the server name. Suppose uh, www.servername.com. Third is uh, the file name which follows the server name that is file name.html. In order for your browser to actually connect to the web server to retrieve the information you request, it communicates with the name server to translate the server name into an IP address. Your web browser is then able to connect to the web server at the resolved IP address on port. Once your browser has connected to the web server using HTTP, the browser then reads the hypertext mark markup language that is HTML, the authoring language used to create documents on the World Wide Web. And the data is then displayed on the web browser. The What is user interface? The address bar, back forward button, bookmarking menu, etc. Every part of the browser display except the main window where you see the requested page. The What is browser engine? The interface for querying and manipulating the rendering engine. What is rendering engine? Rendering engine is responsible for displaying the requested content. For example, if the requested content is HTML, it is responsible for parsing the HTML and CSS and uh, displaying the past content on the screen. Networking. What is networking? Used for network calls like HTTP requests. It has platform independent interface and underneath implementations for each platform. UI backend. Used for drawing basic Combo boxes and windows. It exposes a generic interface that is not platform specific. Underneath, it uses the operating system user interface method. JavaScript interpreter. Used to parse, used to parse and execute the JavaScript code. Data storage. This is a uh, persistence layer. The browser needs to save all the sort of data on the hard disk. For example, cookies. The new HTML specification defines web database which is a complete database in the browser now we see the history of the web browser 
In late 1980s, when a variety of technologies laid the foundation for the first web browser, World Wide Web by Tim Berners-Lee in 1991. Microsoft responded with uh, its browser Internet Explorer in 1995, initiating the industry's first web browser war. Opera Mini appeared in 1996. Although it has only 2% browser users uh, share uh, as of April 2010, it uh, has a substantial share of the first growing mobile phone web browser market being pre-installed uh, on uh, over 40 million phones. In 1998, Netscape launched Mozilla. There are some uh, web browsers which we generally used. What is World Wide Web? World Wide Web was the first web browser when only way to view the web. It was capable of displaying basic style sheet, downloading and opening uh, any file type supported by the next system browsing uh, news groups and spell checking at uh, f at first images were displayed in separate windows until next steps next steps uh, text class supported image objects uh, there are some uh, popular uh, web browser we generally used uh, here we discussed uh, some popular web browser uh, which we are generally used uh, that is uh, first is Mozilla Firefox. The Firefox web browser is the first, faster, more secure, and fully customizable way to surf the web. Mozilla is a global community dedicated to building free open source products like the award winning Firefox web browser and Thunderbird email software. Mozilla Firefox. Then come to Mosaic. Mosaic was developed at the National Center for Supercomputing Applications at the University of Illinois Urban Campaign beginning in late 1992. NCSA released the browser in 1993 and officially discontinued development and support on January 7, 1997. Mosaic was also the first browser to display image in line with text instead of displaying images in a separate window. Netscape Navigator Netscape Navigator are the name for the proprietary web browser popular in 1990s. It was the flagship product of the Netscape uh, Communications Corporation and, and the dominant web browser in terms of usage uh, share although by 2002 its usage had almost disappeared. Windows Internet Explorer Windows Internet Explorer, formerly Microsoft Internet Explorer, is a series of graphical web browsers developed by the Microsoft and included as part of the Microsoft Windows line of the operating system starting in 1995. Opera Opera is a web browser and internet suite developed by Opera Software. The browser handles common internet related tasks and such as displaying websites, sending and receiving email messages, managing contracts, and chatting on IRC, developing files via Bit or Torrent, and reading web feeds. Opera is offered free of charge for personal comp mobile browsers. Mobile browser, a mobile browser also called a micro browser, mini browser, or wireless internet browser, is a web browser designed for use on a mobile uh, device such as mobile phone or PDA. Opera Mini offered free of charge. It is designed primarily for mobile phone but also for smartphone and personal digital assistance.